Uh, this is like my third take of me trying to make this damn video. Hi, what's up? My name is Micah13. Hope you guys are having a good day and I hope you guys are staying safe during this quarantine and also with all the protests going on. It's a scary time that we're living in right now, but the best thing we could do is to keep fighting against racial injustices that we are still currently facing in America and it's just not right, it's not fair, and racism, it shouldn't even exist. But somehow it is, and it's stupid, completely dumb, completely stupid. Ever since the murder and passing of George Floyd, I just felt like if I post or even tried recording the video or post any content whatsoever regarding, you know, my music or my work, I just felt like it would be the most inappropriate time. And so instead, I have just been really focused on the BLM movement. So I've been signing petitions. I have been retweeting some donations that you guys might be interested in donating. Yeah, I've just been, you know, spreading the word, trying to you know, check my privilege while also doing whatever I can to, you know, be a part of the movement as well as being a better ally. So, hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. I don't know, dude. It's just a really shitty time, but I promise as long as we keep fighting, as long as we continue to fight against the racial injustice and all the bullshit that we keep seeing, you know, with all the boomers and all the Karens just trying to ruin our day. And I'm proud to say we're a socially responsible company. We're better than that and we need to continue fighting for what's right and what we believe in the most. So I've also have shared a lot of stuff regarding the movement on my Twitter and stuff, which is where I've been surprisingly the most active. Yeah, before I go off topic again, for some reason I keep doing that, we're just gonna get right into this video. So if you guys wanna see my process of this remix that I made off of Jadada's freestyle, then keep on watching. I discovered Jadada a couple of months ago, and if you guys don't know, who she is, she is basically a rapper, a sex positive, gorgeous human being. Like she reminds me of like Nicki Minaj during her Pink Friday era mixed with Cupcake. I don't know sis, I'd just be loving it. I'd be digging it, I'd be vibing with it. I'm, I'm with it, you know? I'll show you guys the part that I sampled off of in her freestyle video, so here it is. I still winning, I'm winning, I got the flow on the image. I'm at the banks in a minute, you at the shop in your village. I do the maths and the physics, you do the kiki kiki and but I don't laugh at you hoes. I laugh after you hoes. I write the lyrics as poems or I write them as prose. I am one of the pros. I got beauty, rose, you hoes look like crows. So I guess we should start with the sample itself. So basically what I did is I took this sample right here, so I cut it up a little bit and I bounced it in place to where we have this, okay? You know, can I be honest? I don't know why I did it. <laughs> what I was trying to explain is basically there is this feature that Logic has called flex pitch or flex time. And what it basically does is that you can be able to, you know, change the pitch. So if you're using like a vocal track and if you're trying to like retune the vocal so that it could stay on key or slow down certain parts of the track, etc. That's what I mainly used it for. And when I was trying to figure out the BPM of the sample, for some reason, every time I tried doing that, it just would overstretch the like entire file and it would just be in the completely wrong tempo. And so that's why like I would normally bounce the track in place. So that way I could like have the, you know, the copy saved or whatever it is that I cut and pasted and so I would compress it into like just one audio file and then I would turn on the flex effect once I set the right tempo and so that way I could just slow it down or change the tempo so that way I don't have to go through that issue if that makes sense so that was what i was trying to explain hope that made any sense i cut frequencies and i boost and decrease certain frequencies so that way i can make her vocal sound more clear i also added some like delay features using the valhalla space modulator so that way it could take up the stereo fill a little bit more so that it sounds 
more fuller. Let me just show you the comparison, okay? I'll just show you what the fuck I mean. I'm sorry if I sound really angry. I'm just really upset with myself because of the fact that I keep going off multiple tangents at once. So please bear with me, okay? Anyways, here's the original sample on its own. Winning, I'm winning, I got the flow on the image. I'm at the banks in a minute. You at the shop in your village. I do the maths and the physics. You do the kiki kiki and but I don't laugh at you hoes. And this is with everything all together. I'm winning, I got the flow on the image. I'm at the banks in a minute. You at the shop in your village. I do the maths and the physics. You do the kiki kiki and but I don't laugh at you hoes. It just sounds fuller, the volume of the sample itself sounds more even, and in my opinion, I think I did a pretty good job. Y'all bitches better not fucking clock me, okay? Because I'm still learning. I duplicated the same vocal and I changed the pitch in this part, especially with this part right over here, so that way I can give the track more variety and have like a more like bigger effect just to like add on the intensity, which is honestly the real tea. Let's talk about the lead, I guess. So I made this lead to where I added distortion as well as like a weird chorus y kind of effect. And so this is just what it sounds like on its own. I I'm sorry. <laughs> I used serum, which is something that I've been using for quite a while now. I have a love-hate relationship with it because there are times where, you know, I make something that I really like, but there are some times where I just try to get the sound that I imagine in my head, but when I try to make that effect, it just doesn't come out right. Yeah, I, more of the story is I like it, but I also don't like it, but I genuinely like it. But yeah, I added some more effects so that not only I could add some more like texture, but I also wanted to, you know, give it some more space. So, 808, I kind of don't want to get into that because I didn't do anything like super complicated with it. Like, I just found an 808 and I put it into a quick sampler, which is a new feature that Logic has. And then I just added some saturation just so that I could give the bass some more oomph, some more lower frequencies so that it could like be more present. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. So, I'll show you what it sounds like. So it's just a really simple bass line. And the reason why the volume of the 808 kind of dips is because I actually used sidechain compression to the kick so that when the kick hits, the volume lowers it a little bit. So that way the kick can be more present as well. And that's not audio engineering. Anyways, let's get right into the drum kit. The kicks, the snares, the claps, the hi-hat, the percussion, all of that. Surprisingly, like when I listen to it by itself, it has a very simple yet effective beat structure. So I'll just show you guys what that sounds like. I'm a boss ass bitch, 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 bitch. I guess I can play you what I got all together in this first section where I'm talking about right here. I still winning, I'm winning, I got the flow on the image. I'm at the banks in a minute, you at the shop in your village. I do the maths and the physics, you do the kiki kiki, and but I don't laugh at you hoes. I don't laugh at you hoes. I still winning, I'm winning, I got the flow on the image. I'm at the banks in a minute, you at the shop in your village. I do the maths and the physics, you do the kiki kiki, and but I don't laugh at you hoes. I don't laugh at you hoes. Anyways, let's go into the next section where it gets a lot more intense. Originally, I started off with this Umru type bass and the Reese bass, and I'll show you what both of those sounds sound like, okay? So this is the Umru type bass. I don't even know if Umru even uses a kind of bass like this, but it just reminds me of him. <laughs> Basically, I added like a comb filter and I automated it so that way I can have that effect 
to where it just sounds a lot more on the metallic side. You know how like Sophie, she she uses a lot of metallic sounds like coming from metal pots, pans, any kitchen appliance that is made out of metal. And I added a Reese bass, which I, okay, we have to stand the Reese bass. Can we talk about that? It has this kind of like weird pad vibe where it just sounds so wavy and I'll show you what it sounds like. It just gives off that like eerie yet powerful vibe and this is what it sounds like all together. I love those two sounds all together in my personal opinion because it just gives it more character. It just gives off like a different and unique atmosphere where it's like not only like the bass elements with the low frequencies, not only is that still there, but it's also the fact that you layer like higher frequencies on top of it, which can really, you know, make it a hit or miss. I also added a riser alongside with the bass again adding more texture but also adding on to the intensity with the really harsh dubstep part which is like another like trick that i've been like somehow experimenting with like in one of my songs yeah so this is what the riser sounds like <laughs> Yeah, so I want to have that kind of effect to where you're revving the engine and you're just going like 100 miles per hour and you could just feel that kind of like hard, intense kind of sound. And this is what I mean when I add those three sounds together. hear like certain harmonics that keep popping up here and there and to be honest when I was mastering the track I didn't notice that before until like after I exported everything yeah and I added a hiss effect too to add more intensity just simple but all together that sounds like this That's it for that part. Now let's go on to the changes that I've made with the kits in that section alone. So I added three kicks. So both the first two kicks in the first segment or the first section, except I added a third kick. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted to find a kick that had a bigger punch, but not only a bigger punch, but also like it has like some higher frequencies that make the kick sound more present just to add even more of that harsh energetic character this is what i mean when i play this shit all together you see that you see that? Let's go right into the snares that I added. So I added the snare, the original snare that was in the first section, but I added another snare on top of it that sounds more like a drone-ish kind of vibe. Um, I found this snare from Holly's sample pack that is out on Splice. And I also used some of Holly's uh, samples in that section that I, where I'm talking about right now. I also uh, used some of Holly's percussions and glitch noises, which I'll get into in a little bit. But this is what the snare sounds like on its own. I felt like if I just left it alone, it just wouldn't have that like mid-range punch that I want in like just an ordinary snare. This is what it sounds like with the snare that I originally used in the first section. It still like maintains like the presence of the snare, you know? That says what it sounds like with that section. I noticed that when I was arranging everything around, 
I noticed that in the parts where it was silent, you hear how there's like a tiny room of silence in like certain sections. I wanted to fill that so that way it can have a better flow while still making the track more intense, which is where the sound design and all the weird glitch sounds come in from Holly Sample Pack. This track right over here has some of Holly's sound design from his sample pack and I'll show you guys what they sound like on their own. There's this track right here where I actually use a granular synthesis plugin called Quanta and I love it so much. I actually imported one of Holly's uh, samples and I imported it right over here and I'll just play you guys like a random key. So this is what it sounds like. Yeah, just very weird all the place, right? Except I added a pitch shift so that way it can add more intensity as I thought it was gonna do. I don't know, but this is what it sounds like with pitch shift when I play it on the piano, okay? <laughs> And then I added this scream from uh, the Count's sample pack on Splice, or one of his sample packs on Splice, which I pitched it down, and this is just what it sounds like. I'll play you guys the first eight measures, and I think at the end of the video, I'm just gonna show you guys what the track sounds like all together, so. <laughs> This is what the track sounds like, mixed and mastered. I hope you guys enjoyed or even understood what I was saying the whole entire time. Here's a song. I still winning, I'm winning, I got the flow on the image. I'm at the bounce in a minute, you at the shopping new village. I do the mats and the physics, you do the kiki kiki, and but I don't laugh at you hoes. I don't laugh at you hoes. I still winning, I'm winning, I got the flow on the image. I'm at the bounce in a minute, you at the shopping new village. I do the mats and the physics, you do the kiki kiki, and but I don't laugh at you hoes. I don't laugh at you hoes. I still winning, I'm winning, I got the flow on the image. I'm at the bounce in a minute, you at the shopping new village. I do the mats and the physics, you do the kiki kiki, and but I don't laugh at you hoes. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for tuning in if you guys made this far. I know that I haven't posted in a while because of all the events going on and I've just been, you know, taking more time trying to focus on shit that really matters. If you want to see more content from me, you can subscribe, turn your post notifications so you know when I post a new video. You can also follow me on my socials and my music streaming links, which will all be in the description below. And you can also follow my vlog channel, which I'll leave in the description below as well. I love you guys so, so much. And until then, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.